Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Porter with Visit Winona and my handy selfie stick. I'm doing it today by myself. We are Facebook Live at the Frozen River Film Festival. Behind me is an auditorium where I just introduced a film set a little while ago and it's over. So now everybody's flooding out into the common area. I want to give you a look around and see what's going on out there. There's some fun music and uh, there's some um, food and a lot of people to rub elbows with. Um, first, I'll tell you a little bit about this festival. Um, which you sent us to thank you because I'm happy to be here I think I would have been here anyway um, this festival is 14 years old they have uh, a, a huge number of documentary films that they show over a span of about four days primarily it's in Winona although there are some other places where they will show films as well in collaboration with other arts communities I believe Lanesboro has some films um, also we show them at the theater downtown in Winona um, so you're sitting in like a giant movie theater to watch some of the film sets they show in some of the rooms on some of the campuses and also in big auditoriums like this around the Winona State University campus um, it is one of the only all documentary film festivals uh, in Minnesota and we have it in the winter to celebrate winter because winter is pretty awesome even um, if it's cold outside and today it's snowy uh, we love it here and we look for ways to entertain ourselves and um, we think we're doing a pretty good job so also uh, a couple of other little bits of news thanks to you and your uh, l your love of this and um, encouraging us to keep doing this Facebook live series we just won a marketing award from the state of Minnesota for it ah! so this uh, visit Winona got the social media marketing award for this the judges loved it judges love you we love you too thanks for being here okay uh, uh, we're gonna go walk around a little bit it's kind of noisy I might not talk a whole bunch but I'm gonna try to give you a nice look around and um, we'll see if there's some interesting people that we can try to talk to if you can hear them um, and if not you'll just kind of get a scene of what this is about and you know forgive me with the selfie stick I'm not that good at it but I'm gonna do my best so here we go into this main room um, oh isn't it nice in here the bright bright lights first of all if you want to be a rock star here is a photo wall um, and they are doing uh, portraits in front of that somewhere in this building there's also a, uh, a video room where they are they are doing uh, little video chats you can go in and say like what are your favorite things about the festival and they're gonna record it and hopefully do something super fun with it <clears throat> later on now behind me we are in the science building at Winona State University people are just starting to come out from their films there's a little bit of Celtic music playing it's pretty cool it smells amazing because Looks like Blooming Grounds is here with some food, which I could use, and also the Crepes Guy. And if you have not ever had one of the Crepes Guy's crepes, sorry for spinning you around like that. It's <laughs> if it's making you sick, I apologize. Um, here is where everybody's voting for their favorite films. Tonight they're going to have a party. They're going to give away uh, the People's Choice Award plus the juried um, juried uh, awards for the different films that are here. Filmmakers come from all over the country and sometimes the world. I, I met someone who was from France here a couple of years ago. We're still friends on Facebook now. I, I don't think she's here now. Look, these are Blooming Grounds people. Hi, hey. Um, and look at these. I ate one of these for dinner yesterday and it was amazing. Um, yes, I was here all day yesterday because that's what we do um, and especially because it's snowy outside I'll give you a look outside uh, this is this is Winona at its finest wait here's the crepes guy yeah and his big crepe machines mm, he makes a vegetarian crepe that's out of this world okay let's go outside for just one second uh, there's a film set in a couple minutes that I'm gonna go to over in Sampson it is uh, my old friend Tim um, Jacobson and um, he made a film about the Driftless Reason region sorry um, they have done some other films uh, about the Driftless region and won an Emmy for it so it's gonna be really uh, a cool film set um, and it's in a huge auditorium because I think probably everybody in the world is gonna want to go to that film look at how pretty it is outside today ah it's
it's a little cold, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's not like when it was 30 below. So, okay, back inside. Let's just see who's around. Um, I'm gonna show you some swag. I was looking at some of this Frozen River swag, and I think I'm gonna have to leave with something. Hang on, hang on. All right, let's see. Say hey, hi. Look at this stuff, Nona. Because we're so busy, we don't have time to say wuh, so we just have shortened it to Nona. So Frozen River rolled out a new logo this year and it's beautiful. See it? Hang on, I'll show you closer. Yeah, you want this stuff. I want this stuff. Also, are they sold out of Fat Tire Bike tickets? What? Are you sold out of the Maybe raffle tickets? <gasps> so they're giving away a Fat Tire Bike. The ticket's only $10. And um, I bought one, but I think when we're done with this, I'm going to have to come back and buy the other one they have one left they only sell 300 of them and they give away this incredible fat tire bike um so i, I want to go up onto the walkway that goes over but i'm not sure that i'm smart enough to get on it from this side so let's see we'll go up the stairs and look um but anyway this fat tire bike uh, is going to get given away at the reception they have tonight. So uh, there's so many cool things that go on at this festival. This reception that happens tonight is one of them. It is cool. It's the coolest elbow rubbing. It's the coolest elbow rubbing because <clears throat> all the filmmakers are there. All the kind of mover shaker people from the festival are there. People from Winona come out. It's free food. Who doesn't love free food? And um, it's a cash bar. And it's at the, uh, it, you know, it's at the end of the festival. So really, people are talking about what films they love, and um, and giving away a lot of awards. I want to show you something I just grabbed on my way past. This is the program for the Frozen River Film Festival. Turn it that way. Um, so if you have never been to this festival, I, I, I have to tell you, it. I think it's not what you think. You know, there are people who say like, ah, I'm not a I'm not, I'm not a film person, that's for people who wear turtlenecks and listen to, you know, spoken poetry. Just kidding. Sorry, if you love spoken poetry, I'm totally kidding about that. But you know what I mean? There's sort of this image of people who collect for interesting documentary films. And um, they're all documentaries, and they're all interesting, but some of them are awful lot of fun. I watched a film about Bollywood uh, a couple years ago that was hilariously fun. Uh, I watched a film set at the Island City Brewing Company on Friday night where um, people, grown men, were wiping away tears, crying. It was, you know, it was just, oh, it was, I mean, maybe that's not that fun, but it's really powerful stuff. But anyway, look at these. That's how many films there are. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job flicking that. I mean, there are dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of films. It doesn't even matter what you want to watch. There's something here. They have also for kids film sets. Um, here, let's see. I'm going to show you the swag tables. That's where we were just a minute ago. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to show you the atrium from up here. Let's see if I can do this without getting my head in the way. So yesterday there were a lot more people doing um, doing tables with information at them. I see uh, Ready Set School, Bluff Country Co-op. I mean, this is a, this is kind of a gathering place for people, and so it becomes a really nice way for the community to connect to each other. Um, it's kind of call it like a sort of our front porch in the winter, right? Um, we, we're not sitting outside so much, but this is a great place to gather. And a lot of people are coming from out of town now for this festival. It used to be, I think, in the beginning, just really local people, but the gospel spread. I mean, who isn't looking for something great to do in the winter, right? Um, and we are so close to Minneapolis, we're so close to Madison and La Crosse and Rochester. And frankly, you know, we're, we're crushing it here in the wintertime. Um, everybody wants to be here, so it's fun to be us. And um, I, uh, 
I don't think I have anything else to tell you about this festival. I think I've told you almost everything I know, except that we came here because you sent us here. Facebook Live um, every week goes wherever it is that you tell us to go. So you get to nominate places in the comments, and then we take the top two places that are being nominated, we put them up in a poll at the beginning of the week, and we let you say where it's gonna be. So next week, I don't know, where's it gonna be? So far we have done uh, a lot of really interesting things, some things that everybody knows about, some things that nobody's ever heard of before in Winona. Um, we climbed Sugarloaf all the way to the top, thanks for that. Um, we have been in the back of Blado's Bakery in their kitchen. We have seen stained glass in our beautiful banks. We've been to Watkins Museum. Um, we've been to the Polish Cultural Heritage Institute. Now we've been to Frozen River Film Festival. Um, there is so much left though, so much left to do that uh, I'm kind of excited every week to figure out where it is that's going to get into people's heads that they want to see us go for. And, um, and that's, that's what's going to happen. So tell us, where are we going to go next week? Um, thank you again, everybody, so much for coming on this journey with us. We're having a lot of fun doing it, and we are just so, we're so grateful uh, for your um, loyalty and love and support on this and all the shout-outs and everything, and also um, for making us so awesome that the judges for the Explore Minnesota Tourism competition in marketing thought that we were awesome too so that was really cool thank you oh i see paul skills says congrats on the awards thanks paul thank you um and uh i will just see y'all next week have a great week bye I'm trying to shut the camera up but i don't know how